under it. Going under it. And wait. And wait? Yeah. If I gear up, yeah. I lose control, I guess. It's a but ten, still, right? it's a damn good bat. Yeah. Woo! Damn, Trey. Trey. Oh, damn, dude. You're going, <laughs> back. You're going back to Sunco. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Get in for him. Hey, you having surgery? Huh? Yeah. 
you have the search? You think the two piece flex is too much? Yeah. Okay. All right, again, guys, this is one of those videos for Suncoast that a lot of you guys out there that have swung Suncoast are not going to agree with me on. But the way I do my weight distribution when I do bats, uh, and I've been doing this for a long time, ever since the beginning, I've kind of, I know what a balanced bat is. I know what a half ounce end load is, even a quarter ounce end load, three quarter ounce and a full ounce end load. This, I'm talking about this bat right here. This is the new Suncoast. I'm going to call it a 2024 because it came out and it came out at the end of the year with these. This is a 12 inch barrel one piece bat. It's got the thin handle. They've always made the reloaded with a, what they're calling it a three quarter ounce thin load. Back in the day, you know, when they first came out with these, they were a reloaded, which I thought reloaded for them back in the day. And it was, was they're adding a little bit more weight to the end. They did do that back in the day, but for some reason, I'm going to give you what I think they did. And this is a very good bat. You guys hear me talk about it on my podcast. This is a very good bat, but I'm going to tell you what they actually did. They got away from the end load and they made this bat into a balanced bat because of the hand weight. They added weight in the hands, which makes it a balanced bat. I don't care what they call it. I don't care if they call it a reload. I really don't. I go by weight distribution. So they went up on the handle weight and they made, they made the barrel hotter. So when you don't have that weight mass, that mass on the end, you can actually make the barrel hotter and it, you're, you're, you're going to be close to getting the same distance, close to getting the same distance as you would back in the day when it did have that three quarter ounce in load. So I, for some reason, I, I think, I know why, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But they added seven-tenths of an ounce to the hands. So this is a 10, this is a 27.5, this is a 10.4 on the hands, and it's got a 17, it's got a 16.5, there it is right there, a 16.5 on the ends guys i've been doing this for 14 years i know what i'm using the same scale 
and I've weighed it a lot of times. And even the one before this that came out, the, the I want to think it's orange and it's like the old one. Remember they had this one with signatures on it? That was a really reloaded bat. But after that bat, they actually took the signatures off and they put more weight in the hands, made the barrel a little bit hotter. This one is not the same. It's not a repainted one from the same as last year's. This bat, I think, is hotter. I love this bat. I took it to Florida with me as a backup just in case I cracked the other ones that I had because I liked swinging it. My consistency was up there because it has more handle weight. The barrel is very hot, but you can't put a balanced bat against an end loaded bat. You know, I don't care how hot you get the barrel when it comes to my top 10. I'm not talking about other bats out there. I'm just only talking about my top 10. Add weight to the hands, less distance. Don't care how hot you make the barrel. You got to have mass to make that barrel work for you. They soften this barrel than last year a little bit, not a lot. You guys, you 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 guys out there with that bat speed, you know the lower part of that bat speed. And I'm only talking about I'm only talking about the the soft barrel guys. And I'm talking about balance guys. I'm not talking about end loads. And everybody that swung this bat love this bat. This bat is hot. Um, I just wish that I don't care about the load. I just wish they would go down half an ounce, three quarter ounce on the hands would actually, um, would actually make this bat perform a lot better. The only problem they're going to have is durability if they did that. So what they did was they have a bat right here. This one's got over 600 swings on it. And if you, if you take that weight out, it's going to have less swings on it. I don't know how many, but I don't think it's going to crack at 300. I think it's going to be a barrel that's really good at longevity because, you know, with this 10-4 on the hands and this 16-5 on the end, we're getting great performance. It's the number one balance bat that we have ever swung on the soft barrel side. It made number one. I'm going to put it up there with that Mikan uh, Mike deal. It, this barrel gets as soft as that mic deal. And, you know, I actually said that that number two last year, that number two uh, Suncoast, the reloader from last year was number two. I think this one is better than that bat. I think they tweaked it. They they actually um, tuned it a little bit. I always call it tune it. They call it tweak it. Actually, it's not a painted over. It does have a little bit better barrel than that reloaded from last year, guys. This is the Suncoast one-piece uh 2024 i'm going to call it it's got the thin handle balance points you know for you for you balance guys that are out there you're going to love this bat pick you up one this is a great bat but it's it's not an end load a lot of you guys are giving me hell you sun coast guys are giving me hell about saying no it's a reload it's got three quarter ounce end load no it does not it's a balance it's a very good bat for you balance guys out there it's a soft barrel it made number one up there with a mic deal on the balance side that's at 65 uh, miles an hour less because that wall does flex on this, but not too much. It doesn't implode, but it flexes really good. Thanks, guys. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I've got a couple more here that I want you to take a look at. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button right down here below. And I also have a membership channel. It's that little join button that you have right down here. Click on it, and it actually has a small video in there that explains everything in the membership. Plus, it actually helps support what we do. Thanks, guys.